Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. And look down here, the weekly challenges have now been added to the game. Well, depending on when they release it, they're either out or they're coming out in a few hours. Now, I won't try and drag the reveal out. You've already seen the thumbnail. You've already seen the title. I have been added to the game, and not just me, but my dog too. This might be my greatest I've made it as a YouTuber moment. Like, the silver play button was pretty damn special. The gold one, oh boy, it was so shiny. My little puppy. Puppy Paddy being turned into a marketable plushie and then having him pick himself from a huge lineup of them. Absolutely incredible. Man, I've been really, really lucky to make it this far. But what we have today, I could have only dreamed about when I started this channel, being added to a Polybridge game. So let's get right into the weekly. And it's called Escort Engineer. And some people have played it before me. That's not fair. What are you guys doing? Oh man, look at their budget. Look at their budget. Hey, at least I can legit get first place on my own weekly channel. Challenge. But yeah, we got a 120 grand budget. Escort engineers help spot large vehicles to ensure they don't lose their cargo. It's a real problem if we wish to prevent civil unrest. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a nerd laughing at this. Anyway, let's play. Oh my goodness, it's loading. It's loading. What is going on? Oh boy, that is because it is a big level. Okay, so what have we got? We've got we got a little truck here. It's got to get over to that side. You'll notice though, on the back of this truck are a load of boxes. And if we look sort of straight, there's like little lumps of rock in the way. So we're going to have to go up a bit. And you'd think, well, surely maybe going up high and making all these fall off so that the truck weighs less. That'll be a good thing to do, won't it? Well, if we hover over these, you can see the behavior is dynamic. So they collide with other vehicles as well as road. And as we saw in the description behind, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Who is that? All right, let's hit pause and let's just have a look. <laughs> it's me and Paddy. And you know what we're in? We're in the G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. <laughs> Yep, if you ever played in for space, you probably know this reference. Uh, and if you're a Patreon member who has access to my secret merch store, you'll be able to buy yourself a G-Wagon t-shirt. And honestly, they've absolutely nailed it. It's got the badge on the front. It's got the RCE number plate. It's got me and Paddy in it. Oh, Paddy, if you could see this now, if you could understand. You're only a dog. You don't really understand stuff like this. You have RCE number plate on the back. The detail of this, man. G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. And also, anyone interested in sort of like fan made exceptional content there's a link in my description to a guy that made his own g-wagon rap song uh when i say when i'm a bit cocky if we complete the level uh, which <laughs> which doesn't go great at the moment if you're if you're in that truck or in those boxes uh we will play the song as we drive over uh, but otherwise if you want to hear it there is a link in my description anyway how are we how are we actually going to go about doing this so we've got like grayed out areas which of course we can't build in those thankfully we can draw like completely on that edge but if we go down you see it goes red we cannot go down there there are randomly like little gaps let me just see like here we can build down but we can't go below that okay so we are sort of penned in i'm not really sure what the gaps are for if i'm honest um but oh that is a really long span <laughs> That is a really long span. And what my initial instinct would be to try and get like a, a road arch in. Because we know that arches are pretty strong in the game. So if I were to do something like that with road, I mean, that would be fairly strong. Man, I can't even, we can't use wall braces. But yeah, my concern about doing this is all the all the boxes will fall off. And then Matt and Paddy in the G-Wagon, they can't get past. Uh, it's worth noting we have a cheeky little node there. So maybe we could do a bit of a suspension bridge because we've got rope. I'm not actually sure rope will be strong enough, if I'm honest. I mean, we could also cable stay it, but like that is such a small angle. I don't know. I guess to start, I'll try and get something working and then we'll just see if the boxes fall off. And then if the boxes do fall off, what happens in terms of Matt and Paddy? Um, so I guess I'll give you guys a very, very early building montage. <laughs> It starts with one thing, just one triangle. Just stack them in a row and you'll be really cool. Keep that in mind, you designed a truss and you didn't even make a fuss. Rope only works in tension, watch it go tight, don't forget to mention. Architects are there just to draw and dream, they can't even design an I-beam. They get paid a lot, but 
happen doing very little and they have brain rot they dream of beauty don't care if it stands but we have to stand and watch it fall i took a moment and cried and even though i tried it all fell apart what it meant to me would eventually be a memory of a time if i trust so hard and span so far but in the end i should have used an arch bridge it had to fall before i changed at all because in the end i should have used an arch bridge okay so hope you enjoyed that one uh <laughs> right, we've got to a point where I've built a bridge that sort of works. But um, you may have noticed I had to build an even taller road. The last one just not, was not working. You can see the absolute carnage of muscles and stuff here. But uh, if we look, the boxes fall off. And when they do, Matt and Paddy are drowning underwater. Not ideal. Yeah, but I was thinking could i be a little bit cheeky and could i do something like that so shove a bit of road there a bit of road there and then sort of try and lock these into place so that if i shove that sort of on the front of the cab then hopefully oh it falls down it falls down i don't think that's going to help at all oh, i might help it is helping oh matt and paddy what are you doing <laughs> Oh, man, the stress creeps up so quick. Let's watch with the stress on and see what actually happens. So is it that piece? Yeah, okay. I think we just need to go along sort of replacing those with muscles. Basically, there's just... When Matt and Paddy get on, one of you has been sneaking extra treats. And I don't know who it is. Paddy. But yeah, we'll copy to the other side. And I've just seen I am well over budget. Uh, not ideal. We haven't even completed the level yet. This one's going to need a lot of shaving. Oh, yeah, knobs. <laughs> Okay, I think I need, if I do like perfectly straight ropes, like completely parallel with the truck, then hopefully, I was going to say they shouldn't slide, but they both just slid. Oh, look, I left two boxes behind. Oh, was that better than before? Man, this is hard. This is really hard. Okay, let's put, let's put another muscle in there. I'll probably need to do the same on the other side. So I may as well copy, mirror it over there, delete the original bit. Okay, oh no. <laughs> What broke that time? That broke. Okay, so worryingly, that was actually a bit of a bit of steel I put like over the top. Um, I'm sort of wondering then, do I put steel underneath just to like muscle it up a bit? Okay, I think that was stronger. Again though, more muscles needed. I am regretting asking them to do a long bridge that has a truck that requires crates on the back of it. Look, you can see those middle bits. They're still pretty orange. Are they gonna hold? I mean, they did. But the, the road didn't. Tell you what, I might use wood reinforcement under all these. Okay, how's that looking? How is that? No! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that did move the brake up to here. So this is definitely making the bridge stronger. The trouble is, look at the budget. There's got to be a better way of doing this bridge than this. I just want to actually just make it across. Oh, no. Okay, so after a bit of fiddling about, I finally made a bridge that works. <laughs> You can see Matt and Paddy, they're using the power of the G-Wagon. Oh, it's got a sunroof, by the way. Nice. But uh, they're using that to push the boxes over. You can see that's already made it to the end. Oh, what an absolute mess that bridge was. Still, we did make it. All the boxes made it. But yeah, max stress, 99.75%. <laughs> Oh dear. So let's head back to the level and see what can we actually do about this. Because not going to lie, we're very, very expensive here. And I feel like I've sort of resisted using these in Polybridge completely until now. We're going to have a little play with the foundations. I imagine that's what these gaps are for. Yeah, so we can shove those in. Let's just turn the grid on. So remember, the lower we go, the cheaper they are. As we go up, they go very, very expensive. So probably worth doing those as low as possible. That is 15 grand. I can shove another one over that side for another 15 grand. So that is 30 grand of our budget done. But now we only have to do like really short span bridges. So if we do a line from there to there, 50 meters long, we can then fill it with road like. <laughs> and then we've spent 45 grand and we've just got to try and support this, which I reckon should be reasonably easy. Probably easier than what I was doing. I'm gonna, I think I'll start with steel, to be honest. I guess what I'll do is something like that. I've made like a tree, yeah, but we have a joint there, so I'll probably need to reinforce that. The question is what direction? Do I go that side or that side? Not sure if it matters, but I'll try that side for now. And then basically I'm thinking if I just put like a steel arch over the top and then make all these middle bits wood, then we have something like that, which should hold. Yeah, it does hold. And 
Ooh, we may be on something here. Let's let's copy that to the other side. What have we got left? We've got 26 grand remaining just to do this middle bit of bridge. And honestly, I feel like that's plenty. So if I do the same thing in that I do a steel arch over the top, copy it to that side so it's nice and symmetrical, then we end up with that. And then if we press play, it's holding. What's the stress going to do? It's up to 86 Oh, no. Okay, so I think that died when we got into the middle part. I might just watch that with the stress on. So you can see the stress working around these. As it gets over this side, yeah, there's too much weight coming down there. I think because that's vertically down. If I were to move that to the right a bit, that would probably help. Yes. Oh, man. There's just, there's a lot of weight coming down there. And I think that's because if we, if we sort of think about what's happening. So when this is breaking, we've got the truck sort of where my mouse is there. Matt and Paddy is on this side. And now most of the weight is going to come down these bits of steel. So it's all coming down to this point. And then from there, it can only go downwards. It can't like go back up really. So it comes down this way and then down into this piece. Now, if we look up here, you'll notice when Matt and Paddy are on there, theirs is doing the same. And because we split the force like down that piece and down this piece, we're actually adding more force to this. Now, so I'm wondering if I were to delete that and put you up there, then the weight of Matt and Paddy shouldn't be added onto the truck. So as long as it holds up to this point. Oh, so that was a lie. Because that didn't work. I mean, maybe if we do a diagonal that way, that will also help take some of the force down this piece rather than just that one. It could also help out by making that a bit more vertical. Mean. Oh, yeah. No, no. Okay. It got further, but didn't get far enough. So I sort of need to replace that with something stronger, which basically is going to be a muscle. Put a little bit of wood in the middle just to make it slightly cheaper. So now the force is being split between two beams. The one above may pop. But that one underneath should be much stronger. Yeah, it did. So what I'm thinking then, rather than doing a muscle down here and a muscle up there, just make the entire thing a muscle. So now, hopefully, as we head across... Oh, what broke that time? You! What are you doing breaking? Okay, so I think the reason this piece is breaking is because I've got this one in. So you can see as the weight comes along here, can you see it's sort of like it's acting as a lever about this point and it's crushing that? So if I just delete that, the weight of this bridge, if I delete the other side, as well should then just be on the way to this bridge rather than external parts so i've taken pieces away it may now be stronger i'll probably have to change that support so it's the mirror image of that but let's see if this is if this is any better i imagine this piece now won't get too stressed yeah it's not it's not this in the middle break i can make these slightly taller but i don't know if this layout ooh, is gonna work so maybe i'll just add extra truss on top and then i'll probably have to make this top edge steel because is that gonna compress oh no it worked it worked okay all the way to the edge okay we made it to the edge 111 grand. So using foundations, much cheaper for a change. It looks like we beat Minecat, but no one else. We got to aim for 93 grand if I want to come first. So looking at this, where is the place we can save the most money? It's definitely going to be these supports. There's a lot of steel in there. How much of it actually needs to be steel? I'd say that edge, but most of this middle stuff can probably be wood, including like these supports. So if we can do something like that, I feel like I'm making like a radioactive sign. But if we just watch that with the stress on, you can see... Oh, they're going red. They're going red. 94% stress. Ooh, have we made it though? Okay, I think we've made it. So if we if we delete all those parts from this side, copy that in there like that, I would imagine this will work. But you never know. Okay, yeah, it's good. We're down to 103 grand. Next up, I assume I can't just make these wood. Uh, you can see I've made a few wood. Yeah, it's just going to break. So I think all I can do really is just shrink the size of this. Because if this is smaller, it's going to cost less. Okay, I've just noticed as well, I could potentially delete that and then just do that. So then we've got rid of that wooden support. Yeah, it's not as strong, so I'll probably have to move that over to the left just to give a bit more of an angle to that. Oh, yeah, but if I can get it to work, it's going to be a lot cheaper. So can I do the same on this side so it's symmetrical? Yes, it looks like it. 
it. All right, okay, so that costs 11,677. So on this side, that's 12,000. So yeah, I've saved, I've saved like a grand, or I guess two grand, because there's two of them. In the middle, do I need like all of these, or can I just reinforce the top? Sort of like that. What stress are we going up to? Oh, it went high. It did go high. But yeah, that's good. All right, and then a sort of big one. I don't think I need all these pieces to make this like, like stable to stop it moving. So if I delete that, I'm pretty sure, although there is like a four-sided shape in there, we've got enough triangles surrounding it that it should... Yeah, it's not moving anywhere. Is it strong enough though? Oh no. Okay, yep, yeah, not at all. Maybe I can move... No, there's like, there's no movement of that. Oh, although whatever I did worked. What? I gave it like the tiniest tweak. Okay, so mirror to the other side. We're down to 98 grand. Yeah, uh, that seemed to work pretty well. Where are we on the leaderboards now? We are third. We've got two people to try and beat though. Uh, there is actually a gallery. Shall we see how these two people got on? So 119 grand. This is by Minecat. So yeah, foundations in place. It's got two, well, three steel trusses. Fair play. This other one we've got, this is Mason Eater. Oh, same thing. Look at the, uh, uh, look at the cable stage on there. Went underneath in the middle. Interesting. Which actually gives me the idea idea if i were to go underneath then does that help us i'm not sure if it does actually i mean unless we could replace all of this which is 11 grand with some form of tension bridge i don't actually think it's that much cheaper to be honest and it's not as strong the only other thing i can think is trying to like cheese this somehow now going back to the rope idea oh i can't build around matt and paddy oh i was gonna say could i like put a bit of road behind there so that they pull off loads of these. Oh, actually, actually, why not just use this? So we push all the boxes off and then, yes, don't get caught. Yes. Okay, don't get caught. Don't get caught. No. <laughs> you can sort of see where I was coming from with that, though. All right, I'll tell you what. What if I, if I make this a little bit longer? But I basically want this to, like, roll up over the car. Oh, that's close. Okay, so after about 12 hours of tweaking, <laughs> I am exaggerating, but only just. Uh, I've come up with this. So it pushes all the boxes off. And then as Matt and Paddy push those along, can you see it flips down and then just hangs down there? Meaning the bridge is now only like... 60% stressed. So if I turn the stress on, we can see we can see the steel doesn't go very red anymore. I mean, actually, it is in the middle, although it's only like 67% stressed. So basically, that gives us a lot of opportunity to try and make this a lot cheaper. So 8,000 quid. We can then get away with this bridge being a lot cheaper. So that's a grand saved. Can I then replace some of these with wood? Maybe get rid of that muscle as well. Okay, so after lots of tweaks, King, I finally done it, I think. So they all fall off. Truck continues on his way whilst this flops down, doesn't break. And then we need the music. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon when they roll up. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, Matt and Patty run shotgun. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon when they roll up. G wagon when they roll up. G wagon, Matt and Patty run shotgun. Yes, then we safely make it to the other side before going through the... Wait a second. No, we, <laughs> we don't have the strength to push after all that. <laughs> we can't get to the flag. It's just there. No. Oh, no. Yeah, so the flag's there. The truck stops too early and the G-Wagon just doesn't have the power. Oh, no. Okay, that means we need, we need another way of doing this for cheap without cheesing it um so the only other sort of thing i can think of is we get rid of we get rid of one of these foundations maybe and then i don't know should we try and do like a fairly big arch right around half budget well that doesn't seem to work very well okay i've come up with another possible cheese if we put a ramp in here and look the g-wagon has the power to get on top of the boxes yes g-wagon and then it comes down. It does do a forward roll, but I can just sort of change this ramp because we don't actually want it to flip down anymore. And to be honest, can it just fall without front flipping? No. Okay, so after a bit of tweaking, I think I've got it. So we got a bit of a down ramp. 
which means... Yes, okay, we get across. Okay, stress still went up to like 80%, though. But like, we're not pushing boxes. So if we watch with the stress on, I imagine it's just this truck we've got to make it get across for. And looking at these supports, they don't go too red. So what does that cost? 10 grand. And we make them much cheaper. Yeah, 9 grand. Okay, so final bridge is this. I did try replacing these with muscles, which were cheaper. But like this, the truck getting over there doesn't seem to work every time. Like you can make like a little change over here and then suddenly the truck can't get over. Sorry, not the truck. The G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. But anyway, that is us. 91,622. We're top of the leaderboard. Now, prop out to cheese it to try and beat these scores, though. Fair play. But yeah, thanks so much, devs, for adding me to the game. Like, look, here I am, Matt and Paddy, between police car and tractor, exactly where I belong. But yeah, if you want to make a sandbox level for me, make sure you use my vehicle and be sure to tag RCE so I can find it in it. But yeah, how cool. I'm in the game. <laughs> me and little Paddy. Paddy riding. Well, actually, Paddy's not riding shotgun. I'm riding shotgun. Put my hands up. I think I'm driving, but I've realized, oops, G wagons are probably not right hand drive because they're like they're more American cars with their left hand drive. Anyway, I'm sure Pad's a better driver than me anyway. But yeah, for now, I will say peace, love, and G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon.